readers, as you read for longer stretches of time, you are reading more pages. You may have noticed in all that reading that you sometimes come across words you don't know. Sometimes when we don't know the meaning of a word, we can figure it out. Other times we're unable to figure it out and then we lose meaning of what's really happening in our book. So today I wanna to teach you that nonfiction readers keep a careful balance. They stop and figure out tricky parts when they get confused about what's happening in the story and lose meaning. You already have a lot of strategies to help you figure out tough vocabulary. Let's bring back a chart that many of you are familiar with. Does this chart look familiar? Many of us have it as a bookmark too. Readers climb the hurdle of hard words by and look at the whole list of strategies that you have. So you already know a lot how to tackle tough vocabulary. So when you're reading and you come to a word you're not quite sure what the meaning is, but you still understand what's happening in the story, you read. However, if you come across a tough vocabulary word and you lose focus, you lose meaning of what's happening, go back to this bookmark, go back to this chart and use your strategies. For example, I have a book that I'm reading for fun right now. It looks like this. It's called Planting Stories. The Life of Librarian and Storyteller, Pura Belpre. Words by, and please forgive me, I'm gonna try my best, Annika Aldumui Denise. Illustrations by Paola Escobar. So I'm reading this book. Let me show you how I ended up using this bookmark just last night myself. So as I was reading last night, I came to this page. And there were two words on this page that I was not really sure what the meaning of each word was. The first word down here begins with a G. Do you see it right there? You see that word right there? Gallant. I wasn't quite sure what gallant meant. I also wasn't quite sure about this other word down here. Tamarind, a tale from the tamarind tree. And as I reread this page to myself, I realized, well, I didn't quite know what a tamarind tree is. I know it's probably a tree that has some kind of special thing called a tamarind growing on it. And I have some understanding. I really got confused when it talked to me about the mouse being gallant and I didn't quite know what that meant so I had to reread above that word with the word and after the word and as I was doing that I was like huh what's going on in this story what would make sense and then I realized oh so Martina the beautiful Spanish cockroach. She's she's the heroine of Along Comes Perez, handsome and gallant mouse. So maybe gallant means something like like hero or or brave. I, I, I based on what's going on in the story so far, I'm thinking that that's probably what gallant means. Do you see how I did that? I first made the decision: is this word disrupting my comprehension? Is it a word where I'm losing meaning? Or is it a word that I could keep going because I sort of get it? Like tamarind tree, tamarind, I sort of get it. But gallant disrupts my meaning. So I went back to my bookmark, 
I looked at all the different strategies that I know, figured out that this one probably would really help me, and it did. So readers, why don't you go into your books right now? Find a spot or spots where for a little bit of time you lost meaning, you lost focus. Go back, reread more carefully. Figure out those tough vocabulary words. Bring back out your chart of how to tackle tricky vocabulary. Remind yourselves of your work plan too. Don't forget your volume goal and to make mini summaries while you're reading to hold on to what's really happening. And when you come across a tricky word, a tough word that impacts your understanding, something that has stopped you from understanding what's really going on and you're getting confused, that means that's a word that you need to go back to all your strategies and use them to figure out what that word means and back up, do a little rereading, and then read forward. All right, readers, you know what time it is. Off you go.